Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Pasco or Mr. Distinctions. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe so that you keep on following me as we are moving together in this academic journey. Okay, so in this video, I'm sharing with you biology paper 2, 2016, question 5. In this question, it was based on the topic which is called genetics. Genetics actually is an important topic which you need to know because in almost every paper of biology this question is brought uh, for that reason i urge you to subscribe and keep on following me so that in the process you know how to handle the questions which are, con which are concerned with the genetics okay so question 5 reads figure 5.1 5.1 below shows pedigree diagrams for two families a and b outlining inheritance of a sex linked disease called Hemophilia. Okay, so we have this disease which, which is called hemophilia. Okay, so according to the question, we have been given two pedigree diagrams representing two families. We have family A and family B. Okay, so let's go to the first question. Question 5A1 from figure 5.1. Which family has a parent? Who is a carrier for hemophilia? Okay, so the first thing we need to do, whenever you see this question, you need to go and check for the keys. So they normally give keys to make this question simple. So, according to the keys, whenever you see a circle which is not shaded, just know that that circle is representing a female who is a normal one. Then, if you see a box which is uh, also not shaded, just know that that box is representing a male who is a normal one. But whenever you see a circle which is shaded, just know that that circle is representing a female who is hemophilic, who has got hemophilia. Then, if you see a box which is uh, which is shaded in the same manner, just know that that box is representing a male who is Hemophilic. So, according to the question, to the pedigree diagrams, in this family we have got a person, a male, who is hemophilic. But in this one, we have got no one who has got a hemophilia. Okay, so let's go back to the question. Question A, from figure 5.1, which family has a parent who is a carrier for hemophilia? Okay, so what you need to understand is that when we talk of carriers for hemophilia, we are just talking about females because there is no male who can be a carrier for hemophilia. What is the reason behind that? The reason is that when we talk of females, females have got two Xs. These are the these are the sex chromosomes for females, but when we talk of males. Males have got only one X chromosome. And the allele for hemophilia settles on a X chromosome. So for that reason, if a male has got a small letter H, just know that this male has got hemophilia. A male has got only two possibilities. It can be a normal if he has, if he has got a capital letter H, which is, a, which is representing a non-hemophilic allele. But if he has got a small letter H, which is representing uh, a hemophilic allele, then this male is a male has got a hemophilia. But when we talk of females, females have got two X chromosomes, of which she can have uh, a small letter H, which is representing a hemophilic allele, but still she can have a capital letter which is a non-hemophilic allele. So in this case, we will say that this female is just a carrier because this allele for, for non-hemophilic is, do, is dominant over this one. This allele has got power over this one. So in this case, we will say that this female is a carrier for hemophilia. But if you see a female who is, whose genotype is looking like this, just know that this female is hemophilic okay so you have been told to identify the family which has got a parent who is a carrier for hemophilia in this case we are talking about females because 
according to what I have just explained, only females can be carriers for hemophilia. Okay, so for us to, to answer this question very well, we have to consider the children of these parents. So these two parents have got these children, of which one of them has got hemophilia, but these two parents have got these children of which we have no one who has got hemophilia. And for that reason, you can see that the family uh, which, had got, which had got a parent who had them, who had them hemophilia or who was a carrier for hemophilia is this family because it is in this family where we, we, are, find, we, are, uh, we are finding a person who has got hemophilia. So the answer for Question A is uh, family A. All right, so let's go to the second question. Give a reason for your answer. So the reason was simple. The reason why you have said that family A is the one which has got a parent who was, uh, who was a carrier for hemophilia. The reason is simple. The reason is because... Uh, because family A has got has got a, uh, a child who, who was hemophilic. Okay, who was hemophilic? So that was it the answer okay let's go to the to the second question question 5b 1 using the symbols x capital letter h and x small letter h state the genotypes of state, state the genotypes for hospring h and d j if j is a carrier for hemophilia okay so we have been told to to state the genotypes for offspring H and J. If J is a carrier, so this J was a carrier, and definitely this J or this person is a female because, according to what we have uh, I have explained, only females can be carriers for hemophilia. So. Let's uh let's look at the pedigree diagram so that we can see the persons they are talking about. So we have got this one and this one. So as we can see when we when we check uh on the key, we can see that we have been told that whenever you see a box which is shaded, just know that that person is hemophilic. That is that is a male who has got hemophilia. And the halil for a male who has got the genotype I mean for a male who has got hemophilia looks like this. So that was the answer for for H. What about for J? We have been told that this female was a carrier for hemophilia. So, the genotype for a carrier female looks like this. Okay, so this is it for J. Thank you very much for watching. Keep on following me in the next video. Uh, in the next video, I'm sure. I will answer this question now. We'll draw a genetic diagram. Therefore, I urge you to uh, keep on checking for my new videos. Otherwise, thank you very much. Goodbye. Till uh, the next video.